First of all, I would like to congratulate all of you who have qualified for GATE 2018 exam. And uh, for all those who have who are not able to qualify this time, no problem. Don't get disheartened. Just prepare more well for the next 2019 GATE exam. And there are lots of exams coming, like CSIR, NET is also coming in June, and one will come in December also. So there are lots of things to do to prepare to work hard okay so change your strategy a bit and work hard you start working hard from today only okay and uh, this video is basically for them who have qualified for gate 2018 okay so in this video i will talk about what to do next okay after qualifying for uh, um, gate 2018 what to do next okay so see there are two things that you can do one is either you go to psu that are public sector undertaking the companies like bhil and uh, like all india corporation like those companies or you can do phd okay to going for going into pcus uh, your rank should be under 100 okay or i would say under 150 then only you can apply for these you can go for interview and rest of the things depends on an interview of this okay and uh, there you these things are like if you are getting good a uh, gate rank I, I will suggest you go for this because you will get very good salary over here and uh, like this is very nice thing okay uh, but i don't know much about these things so i would rather stick to this which i know okay so uh, that uh, admission in phd okay so if your rank is like if you have just qualified gate also then also you will be called for interview in iits okay for phd entrance uh, for phd admission uh, through gate the best thing the best institute you can get is iit iser and uh, there are a few more institutes like nits are also there okay and many nits and few few more institutes are there like private uh, privately uh, funded uh, institutes are also there okay so let's talk about the um, how to like up to what rank you will get uh, iits and all okay so see these these questions were asked to me every time that uh, like up to what rank i should uh, like my rank is this and this which iit will i get so in this video i will answer it all those questions only see if your rank is 500 and below okay so you will be getting very like best institutes uh, to do a phd in india okay through gate those are like iit bombay is there iit kanpur is there iit delhi is there okay so these three are among the best institutes okay see i have the whole list of iits like uh, and uh, who offer phd in chemistry and uh, like according to the uh, priority wise okay i will i will give you a link in description also you can go there and you can watch you can like read and you can get the, this list okay so if you have a rank below 500 okay so you can like there is surety that you will be called for interview and the rest of the things depends on your interview performance only so IIT Bombay is there, IIT Kanpur, IIT Delhi okay these three are best IITs to do um, uh, to do that uh, PhD chemistry okay and then then comes IIT Madras is also there IIT Guwahati Guwahati IIT IIT Guwahati also it it doesn't dip, like if your rank is not even under 500 if you have decent rank like say thousand or above thousand then also you can you will be called for interview in IIT Guwahati few IITs they take interview um, like few IITs are there which take their entrance also okay so few IITs which I know that they take entrance like see uh, for IIT Kanpur there is no entrance there is only interview then IIT Delhi also I think there is only interview if you are uh, GRF qualified okay and uh, then IIT Guwahati there is only interview for IIT BHU that is in Varanasi you have to give entrance also like if you are not JRF qualified, if you are JRF qualified, then you don't have to give interview. Well, uh, it means you don't have to give the entrance. You just have to give the interview. Okay. And then all these IITs are there. Like few are the few IITs are there which are new. So like IIT Mandi is there, IIT Roper is there, where you won't be getting like uh, like where you will be easily called for interview even if your rank is not that good if you're just qualified for gate you can you will be called for interview okay so beside these iits uh, see i have few dates for like few iits have given their application form in their official website you should you should check all the uh, official website of all these university regularly okay see the deadline for applying for iit bombay is 11th april 
for IIT Kanpur it's 4th April for IIT Gandhi Nagar it's 4th April okay so till now these three have uh, published on their website so that data I know so I am telling you otherwise you you just go to their official website and check out there okay uh, and uh, like this thing you should do regularly that go to the official website and check whether their their forms have came or not you have to give some extra amount you have to pay some extra amount for that form okay like 300 to 500 amount okay then there are few visors also like these are the like i have marked with the star visor pune and visor bhopal these are best visor for uh, uh, for doing phd in chemistry okay then visor kolkata and visor mohali they are new okay so these are the best tizer so if your rank is below 500 then you will be called for interview over here uh, otherwise there are chances but i am not sure about it that whether you will be called or not but yeah if your rank is under 500 you should apply for these two tizers okay and then there are a few more institutes like there is uh, jncsr jankasar in bengaluru there uh, this institute takes a very like uh, it will call for interview only if your rank is decent like under 500 okay and then there is one more institute that is that is defense institute of advanced technology and di okay in pune that also is a very good institute this government funded institute and uh, that will take you on, on the basis of your gate rank only then one more institute is there that is national institute of pharmaceuticals education and research okay and that is in mohali so this is this is only for organic students okay those who have uh, a specialization in organic okay so this was this was for like uh, like up till now i have told you that which institute to take and like for phd admission few more things which i will describe i will tell you in this video that one thing is fellowship okay so which everybody ask that what will be the fellowship okay see if you are uh, if you got admission in any iit okay in any iit and uh, like through your gate or any through uh, like any source if you get admission in any any iit your fellowship will be equivalent to the jr fellowship okay that will be around 25000 okay so you will be getting around 25000 per month if you have got admission in any of the iit okay and uh, that doesn't matter if you have qualified jrf or not if you have qualified JRF then also you will get this amount if you haven't qualified JRF then also you will get this amount only means if you have if your admission if you got admission in any IIT either with your gate score or with your JRF score or one more thing is there you can get uh, admission like you will be called for interview in, in many of the IITs on the basis of your inspire if you if you are inspire fellow then also you will be called for interview in IITs okay so in either of the way you if you get admission in any iit then your fellowship will be around 25000 okay so these were the things and uh, like i told you few few iits and few institutes which i told you one more i left that was uh, tifer okay tata institute of fundamental research that conclude that takes its own entrance exam and uh, in that interview also your gate score matters a lot so like these are the few good institutes to do phd in chemistry okay and i have given you the i have since the priority order i have given you because see phd in chemistry is not like you cannot do it from everywhere you should be having you you should get a good lab good instrumentation then only your phd will be good okay so that's why i have given you the priority order because the the iits which i mentioned or the gen i have mentioned and ISRs which i have already mentioned these either pune either bhopal and these iits like iit bombay iit kanpur iit delhi they have well furnished uh, labs their instrumentation is like very nice and they provide uh, like they are one of the top institutes of india so they provide you world class labs also okay so doing phd in uh, here will be a different experience you will be getting a very nice exp experience and like it will be easy for you also you will enjoy doing phd here okay and for these like the new iits like iit roper iit mandi all these are new iits so i don't know that whether they have good facilities or not okay and they have campuses are their campus is also not that good okay they are uh, like they have they don't have that much good campus okay so 
so that's why i'm telling you that okay if you have like if you just qualified gate also then you can get an admission into iit but uh, then also you have to check on their website that whether they are providing instrumentation whether they are providing good lab or not okay so make a decision wisely and i wish you all the best and uh, do mention in the comment section uh, like if you want to share your gate rank and uh, like if you have any doubt and anything like related to admissions and uh, gate like admission in iits through gate or anything related to this admissions okay okay thank you for watching hope you like the video